Hello and welcome to RF Pro 5 minutes tutorial. In this tutorial, we will look at circuit loaded current visualization for your RFIC designs. This is one feature which you might not have seen in any of the tool which are available to you for your design work. And this is something going to be very useful when you are troubleshooting the problems in your RFIC designs or any sorts of RF microwave design. So stay tuned till the end of this video and I hope you get a very valuable content out of this. Before we start, remember one, two, three, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, like and share the video with your friends and colleagues. All right, let's spend next few minutes in going through this very interesting topic. Now, the problem you often face when you perform the EM analysis, which contains the layout parasitics for your design, and when you compare it with your idealistic kind of a schematic design, you might see uh, quite a difference between these two designs. And sometime with the layout parasitics, your design may not meet the specification you might be looking to design for. Now, in those cases, how do you troubleshoot where the problem is coming out in your design work? And that is what precisely we are going to discuss in this video. Now, when you run an EM analysis using RF Pro, one of the options you can use, depending upon the frequency sweep you're performing and the frequency at which you want the information to be shown to you, you can go to field storage and save the current visualization fields or electric field in your structure at different level of frequencies. So in my case, I have selected to be saved on all the frequencies. And if you look at my sweep plan, I'm running a simulation at DC and then I'm doing a linear sweep on my fundamental frequencies and the five harmonics. So the fields information will get saved for all these frequencies. Now, after you specify that in option, you can go ahead and run the simulation. And after simulation finishes, you can double click and open the near field data. Select the frequencies on which you would like to see the field visualization. So in this case, let me go ahead and remove the automatic range setting. And let me show you something which you can easily see on the on this structure. So for example, in this particular case, the excitation is happening on a single port and you can pick the port which you would like to feed the excitation. And currently it's the end terminal of the input port. You can also use multi-port excitation whereby you can set excitation at different ports. So in my case, for example, if I set the input P and N terminal, and because a differential input, I can set the phase difference to be 180 degree. And now I can see the input terminals is where I'm feeding the power and how the current is distributed in the structure. But the problem with these kind of design is you often have a lot of components which are circuit you know, components. Like in this case, as we discussed in the previous video, these two blocks are supposed to be uh, you know, not simulated during the EM and rather they are retained as circuit components. So that's where you will have the breakdown because the EM field that cannot cross this component because you don't know what's happening inside this block and what kind of voltage and phase data is available at the output side of the circuit blocks. So that doesn't allow you to see the overall field distribution in a circuit loaded condition when you have all the active devices also um, you know, being in play. So in those cases, what you can do, and here is the answer, very, very simple. When you set up your simulation and when you look at the schematic which you have obtained after EM simulation, this is where you have the EM data and you can see the terminals contained on this you know, block. And these are the terminals which are collected, connected to these circuit blocks. So effectively, if you have data stored at all these terminal points, that information can be used to excite the structure so that you have the right excitation coming out of every circuit node point which you have added under your analysis. Now, how are you going to do that? Well, under your simulation setup, if you go to output, save option, and in here, if you save the RF Pro current excitation information, and now if you go ahead and run the analysis, RF Pro does not only store the information, or rather Golden Gate simulator, which I'm using right now, 
not only stores the information for the external probes you have connected, but at the every node of the end port symbol, which I just use in my co-simulation. Now in this case, if you go back to your um, configuration and open the ADS data display, you can see all the information which is available now as a part of this data set. So in my case, sim underscore p underscore cr is the data set. Now if you put a dummy um, you know, graph here, you can notice you have the pin information or the voltage information on all the pins which are connected to your EM response. And this is the information I can leverage within RF Pro to load the right excitation at the right point and look at the field across the entire structure. So the way to do that is simply switch on the near field and instead of using the single port or multiple port, you can use the circuit simulation data set and then browse to the data set which you have produced after Golden Gate simulation. So in this case, once I pick the data set, you can see the power on all um, the information on all the power levels which I have used in my harmonic balance sweep is available. And then you can select the frequency on which you would like to work. And once you do that, a respective power level, you can see the field excitation information available. So let me go ahead and change the automatic range to something which is little more visual intensive so that you can see the information uh, very clearly. So here now you can see the input is coming at the input node, but now you can see the current visualization till the output node. And now if you change the power information, you can see how the current distribution changes across the structure, very, very powerful. So in case your design has some resonance problem or power leaking to undesired path, using this field visualization, you can see which section is locking the energy, which is just, you know, distorting your result. Very, very powerful capability. Now, not only in fundamental, remember we stored field at all the frequencies. So you can even see the field distribution across harmonics on your structure in case you are trying to suppress certain harmonic by putting certain section in your design. And if it is not getting suppressed, you, you can see that information here as well. So that's all for this video. I hope you like the content presented and this information will be quite helpful when you deal with your RFIC designs or any kind of RF microwave design. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos on RF Pro. Best of luck in your design work.